Hello guys, what's going on? It's your boy Louis21 back again. Just reminding you to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe. We're on 101 guys. Keep it going. Yeah, it's painful. And been through a lot in this sport. Lost people along the way. More than I care to mention. But that's life. And with with the illness that's going around, we're closer to that negative stuff than we need to be. The thought of these things, these numbers we're looking at on the TV every day going up. But then it's more it's maybe giving people time to be more self aware and realise what they've got and what what they're working towards and what they want in life. But at the same time being alone with your thoughts that long it's not good. It just invites negative ones. Because every positive thought has got to be a negative thought. There's always the up and the down, the left and the right, pro and con, you know. Especially in my way of thinking. I'm just like that. At times I'm a realist, at times I'm an optimist. At times I'm just really negative, you know. We all, we all have our days and our moments. And I've had a few of those this week. But I'm doing alright, as long as the sun's shining. But yeah, I mean, guys, there's too much chaos here, but what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh yeah, roll the intro. Damn. I'm fired, I'm going to fire myself, guys. I'll never get an intro right, ever. Either I'm overdoing it or underdoing it. Um, but yeah, in case you didn't know who I was, here there was the intro. Just to remind you. And with my intros, I always that's the bit I spend the most on. Like I spend ages sometimes. Some days I just get fed up and say screw it, just use the last one. But I always tweak it somewhere or another, or go back to an old intro that I forgot was really good. Um, but then after after a time, it's just like, nah, that was too long ago. Okay, my TV went off. Because power saving. Save the planet, I guess. But yeah, sorry for all the background noise. My dad's on the phone in the garden. Mum's watching TV. My brother is upstairs fixing something electrical. Something like that. Anyway, and I'm here doing this. Um, I was playing pro clubs for the first time yesterday on FIFA um, with a few friends as well one of them being another YouTuber um, so hopefully we'll be playing again soon and that is addictive I'll tell you that and it goes to shit if you got the wrong players on your team it did for us most of the time but yeah self isolation what more can I say about it it's not really that that's getting to me, it's all the other, the five or six things that happened over the weekend. And maybe I'm not down properly, about, properly down like you'd expect me to be. But yeah, don't panic by the title. Nothing within this household happened. It's hearing what happened to people close to me and other people around. Um, some of it's corona related, some of it isn't, you'll be pleased to know. Um, in one case it really is related directly to Corona but don't worry everything is fine in that sense and every time I get down you know what I do guys I just do what I love um, one of my cousins told me that just do something you enjoy doing and that'll take your mind off it so I did yesterday I vlogged I'm doing the podcast today I played FIFA and that well that sometimes makes me more angry but yeah, in general FIFA makes you happy. And I've got a bandana on and that makes me happy too. Because I look like some sort of ninja. And he hasn't copyrighted that word, so I can't get done for saying that. But there's a, another YouTuber that I said, I said last week he does like a radio show type podcast. 
where he plays music and he gets copyrighted for it. I'm thinking I might do that because as long as the video doesn't get blocked, um, I'll get away with it with whatever music. If you like that, do leave a comment and say subscribe, like, share, comment. If you don't want that, comment as well. And I'm on TikTok. Uh, I'll put that somewhere in this video at some point. Instagram as well. well I've got two Instagrams. That's a sign of someone. Well, you, most YouTubers have two Instagrams private one and the creative one. Well, the one where I share all my videos. And today I've got to upload. Well, I've uploaded the video, I've got, to, got to produce. Produce? I'm getting all my words mixed up, anything we're going to repeat. I've got to publish the video tonight. Um, so that'll be up on the gram. Reminding you, and on Twitter. I don't really use Twitter that much just to do that. And I see what other people are moaning about. We might get onto that later. You know, but... First of all, I mean... I want to say, how are you guys doing? It's been a difficult few days for me. Um, probably the same for you. Directly because of self-isolation. Maybe something something else but um yeah i hope you're coping well because with me it's not the actual isolation like i said it's all these combination of things that happened over the weekend that just bombarded like imagine it's like a imagine you're playing battleship right and literally you're the battleship and there's like five pins and one more and you're down literally if you know what i'm saying that doesn't even make sense so yeah, I'm like on my wits end with these bad, this bad news, and it's just like I overthink things. That is my problem a lot. I'm, I'll be thinking about details of things, and like in this case, there'll be guilt as well. But with anything, positive or negative, like I have to overthink it, and I'm indecisive. I'm making in making the choice. I can be like that in on a normal day let alone in isolation with all this bad news, there's one piece of bad news at a time you can cope with but I feel I can, whatever it is but this is like five things like leave me alone world, like self isolation is making me mad as it is so to add to it, it kind of made it worse but regardless of isolation or not these five things would have got to me anyway so yeah I want to get into it get it over and done with it's like a therapy session in some ways and you are the shrink or not or vice versa and guys remember this I don't have the answers but I'm giving you like my outlook on things and my opinion on what's going on in my life I'm, I'm giving that to you as a, a tool I guess to learn from or take as an example but don't take my word for things yeah, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist. But do you really need to be? Because someone will relate to this. And some of you won't. And you'll be like, what's wrong with him? But I'm, I'm sure most of you will. And especially in isolation, bad news seems to... I don't know. Be magnified by the situation. And the stress we're all under. Because we're worried about the economy. We're worried about people getting ill. The loved ones that are sick and vulnerable and anyone we know that's got other problems you know and we're worried about them and ourselves and every time we go shopping and you know every time you go out for whatever you need and yeah addressing the fact that our routines have been completely turned on their heads and you know that's probably one of the reasons alcohol consumption is going up and probably I'm drinking more alcohol than I would do on a normal weeknight for example and in the evenings because we're all staying up later because we've got nowhere to go and nothing to get up for the next day but literally my problem is before I get into all the things that happened I just stay up too late watching Netflix in general let alone now um, and when I'm feeling down, maybe that takes my mind off things, but nah, just keeps your, your brain going and you can't get to sleep. And then I'm getting up late anyway. So it's all messed up. 
So I want to try like not necessarily going to bed at a more reasonable time, but definitely not watching Netflix to the early hours of the morning. Maybe trying to get up early, like, and then watch Netflix another time during the day, or in the morning when I get up earlier, for example. Trying to keep a routine. Just don't get too lazy. And I feel like I'm doing that, I feel guilty. I, I can't spend the day without doing anything. If I don't make a video, if I don't podcast, I feel guilty. Maybe not on the Sunday or Saturday or Monday, because those are kind of the days I don't do as much video stuff. But in the week, if I don't, like, I feel guilty that like, I can't. Maybe today I did because I had to get out of the the misery that I was in from yesterday. Um, but in general, in the morning, starting start of my day is vlogging or podcasting or something creative or editing or something or publishing a video, doing a TikTok, anything like that. That gets my day going and then I can play Call of Duty or whatever or FIFA but yeah with these problems let me let me get into them now so first of all uh, another teammate of my not teammate but fellow Powerchair football player um, passed away on Saturday and that was the most devastating news by far because it's just shock to the system a guy you played against we all played against as Padre football players and we knew him personally and played against him many times so that was re really tough like just a like, shock to the system and especially for the Padre football, football community at the moment we're suffering because we can't play we can't do what we love and forget about all our other problems that we have on a daily basis because when we're at football we forget about the the carers, the medication, the pain in some cases, the ableism, all that, we forget about that on the pitch. And one of our teammates, one of our partners in crime, even if they're of a different team, we're all one big family, so this hurts. Yeah, it's painful. And been through a lot in this sport, lost people along the way, more than I care to mention, but that's life. And with, with the illness that's going around, we're closer to that negative stuff than we need to be. The thought of these things, these numbers, we're looking at on the TV every day going up. But then more news hit and it was uh, a client of my mum's, um, an elderly woman of about 88 I think 87 um, she had she got corona and she passed away Sunday morning so that was a huge blow because she was such a kind person never harmed a fly very generous woman that cared for people cared about people that wouldn't necessarily you wouldn't necessarily think of and treated my parents as well more more than nicer than you would treat your hairdresser normally and came in for many years my grandparents knew her too um used to do the husband's hair so like we we, know, we knew her very well she was well known in the community so that was a big shame um and a frustration because i, I don't want to hear about this virus anymore i don't watch the news anymore. i haven't maybe on twitter that's the most but i don't want to know those figures so yeah two things um, then a friend of mine find out one of their family members isn't too well what in one case uh, not corona related um, and in another case a, f a patch of football friend uh, a great friend of mine one of my best patch of football friends probably his um, dad was told by the NHS or the hospital that he goes to that he's not allowed to continue his chemo um, because of some, something to do with corona and it's just infuriating because they're trying to save lives and then they're saying to someone no you can't do your chemo so that's kind of contradicting the whole thing I'm not going to get into that because it's not me to say 
but that got to me too because all the thanking the NHS were doing rightly so as well thank you to them but in this case it's just wrong and then found out about a friend of my dad's in Italy um, a farmer a farm that I visited in the summer I did a vlog about he's on the latter stages of cancer in a, he's in a bad way and it's a matter of days and I met the guy and he's such a tough guy but a kind person they don't make people like that you don't, you don't find people like that every day they don't make geezers like that anymore and yeah that's just very sad news because I met him in the summer and for all the problems he had he just got on with it and it's inspiring and I think he was inspired by me too um, I, I knew of him, a family friend for years so that's just another another like wound that I'm dealing with with these things um, it's a combination of things like to think about each situation can't think about one and like get my head around it because I've got five six things to consider and they're all coming at once and I'm at home and I've got nowhere to go out and forget about it, go in the garden yeah, I'll make a vlog that'll help but no it's still there that all the thoughts and the worries and it's just time like self isolation is time time and then we'll get out of this situation but not yet I know that and it's going to be a long road and all these things are happening and hopefully no more things come come up at the moment you know because I can't cope it's too many things it's too much guys and if you know what I mean like it's like you get, you're getting pulled from each direction you know like it's like if I was in a shootout I would now be a cheese grater that's how many shots are being fired here like if that's a that is a terrible analogy and you can burn me for that later but yeah that's the best I got and that's what I'm dealing with but I'm still here I'm still vlogging didn't let it stop me doing that when I could have because I'm pretty up and down when it comes to dealing with these things like other people will be down and up. I'll cheer them up but in deep inside I'll still feel terrible myself about the whole situation when I know that ambition or maybe belief in this case is what you need uh, I said to my dad look your friend's not dead yet I, I mean <laughs> that's the wrong way of saying it isn't it but you know what I mean he's, he's not gone yet and he's a tough guy and um, I met him he's going to fight to the end alright guys so yeah it is a new day picking up where I left off with the podcast well I want to be more positive hopefully the camera stays on and I don't have to restart my thought process um, but yes yeah, so a lot of negative things a lot of things on my mind but I saw like one of their motivational videos there's a guy I think it's called Adam Watts or something there's a guy that does like motivational speeches um, you've probably seen him on YouTube or Facebook um, around but there's one about like thinking or like overthinking things like if you try not to think then that's worse um, it's impossible really to not think um, but there's ways to clear your mind you know do something you love or take your mind off negative thoughts or thoughts that you need out of your head in this case um, but you know without feeling like if you do that too much you can feel guilt you know in my case I probably would uh, don't forget about these things that are still there um, but you know just try and be thankful for what you've got and know that you know tomorrow's never promised so just live each day like it's your last because you never know I hear about these people and people close to us um, it's difficult um, but yeah I mean so five things all at once that are negative affecting me but here I am um, I just did what I loved like I said I vlogged, I podcast uh, a bit of gaming, anything to take my mind off all these thoughts going through my head and like worries about other people's situations when sometimes you just got to worry about your own situation and like the everyday responsibilities that we've forgotten about now kind of 
that's given us more time to like be with our thoughts, which is not always a good thing. Uh, maybe like self awareness is good, yeah, but to always be um, in your own head is not good. Like so, those in real self isolation, I understand what they well, I call kind of, but um, you know what I mean. If you're properly on your own, at least we've got these guys around, but like we just at each other's necks off the time, each other's throats, you know, going crazy. Um, but yeah, I've been keeping my mind off it, but there's times where you just can't. And if you try not to think, then you think more about not thinking. You think about not thinking. It's complicated. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm a bit more upbeat today, you know. Um, don't want to keep the podcast all in that mindset it was in yesterday. Um, I don't really want to keep you too much longer. But yeah. Uh, I've got a few more video ideas. I seem to be scraping the barrel at the moment for ideas. But here I am, still going. 101 subscribers. Keep it coming, guys. Um, and I'm hoping to do more live streams. Maybe a fortnight one if I can bring myself to play it and not rage and not go mental. Well, raging for me ain't that bad, you've seen me. Like, how angry can I get? <laughs> I don't get that. I don't know. Nothing makes me that angry. Other than Boris and, like, politicians and Trump. But let's not get into that because, like, that's the same for everyone. Um, but, yeah, I don't proper rage when I play games. Like, I'm not the type of guy I just turn off the game and walk away and smash the screen. Or throw the controller. <laughs> Even if I could, I wouldn't. It's not, I don't know, it's not my character. Um, but things wind me up, yeah, that's for sure. Don't, don't they all, you know, don't we all have those things that just get to us? Especially now, all being closed in our, in our own homes. How lucky I've got a garden of people I know, or in Italy anyway, don't. They have that luxury. But yeah, hopefully you're keeping in touch with your friends. And I was thinking about this the other day, I saw a, a tweet or something, it was like, the people who did check up on you in this time, remember them because they're your real friends and people that will help you when you're in need if they're checking up on you. Those who didn't even say it, say anything or say how are you doing in this situation, then they're gone. I've had so many people that I don't speak to every day but they're messaging me, how are you, how's things, you know, I hope you're doing alright and vice versa, you know. So it's good to have those people and I hope you all do because everyone really deserves that and like I said, just be thankful for that every day. Like, wake up and say, thank you. I'm here, you know. Um, it's easier said than done, but sometimes you just need to be grateful. And I'm, I find myself moaning about simple things when I should just be grateful, really, for every day. For this nice weather, while we, well, that I can enjoy, you know. And everything we've got. And everything we have, you know. All these creature comforts, all these things. Is that, a, is that a phrase? You know, like, what I mean, like things that we can we could actually do without, like material things. You know, thank you for family and all this, and people who care about you, thank you for all these things. Um, it's a simple task. Try it. Let's try being thankful for everything. And it will eliminate the negativity. Even though it's still there, and for me, yeah, I'm not saying I'm cured from all the overthinking of all these negative things. I haven't cured that, it's just me dealing, I'm coping with it, dealing with it. And that's, that's what it is to be human, in some ways. Um, and yeah, I'm surprised the camera's still rolling, um, because half the time it just stops. Um, but, yeah, I want to thank you guys, because you've been on this journey, you're still on your journey, life's like a book, it's like you're writing your own book, and you want a happy ending, you know? And it's about the chapters in between um, the beginning, middle and end, you know. And that's life. And we're on like a certain chapter of the book that's just about self-isolation, basically. And like I said, yeah, it's, it's maybe giving people time to be more self-aware and realise what they've got and what, what they're working towards and what they want in life. But at the same time, being alone with your thoughts that long is not good. It just invites negative ones. Because every positive thought has got to be a negative thought. There's always the up and the down, the left and the right, the pro and the con, you know. Especially in my way of thinking. I'm just like that. 
At times I'm a realist, at times I'm an optimist, at times I'm just really negative, you know. We, we will have our days and our moments. And I've had a few of those this week. But I'm doing alright, as long as the sun's shining. That seems to help my mood a lot. But obviously if you can't enjoy it, then it, 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 would, it would infuriate you, I know what you mean. I, I feel your pain. But yeah, yeah, another podcast, episode 36, and I was so happy when I started these, and I, I was a bit more tense at the beginning, like, opening up to, to a camera. Not that I didn't do that in the vlog already, but it's a different format, you know. Um, the first ones I was a lot more, doing a lot more research and getting informed. Now I'm just speaking from experience and what's going on around me. Sometimes I might watch a show and react to it or talk about it, or talk on a certain subject in a podcast, but it's just general whatever's on my mind, really. And I want to keep doing them, and it's therapy for me as well, it helps to talk about these things, that's what made me feel better, to open up about all these things, because there's only so much in a conversation on WhatsApp you can tell your friends, like, even in the voice message. I mean, like, every now and then there's a video call, yeah, but I don't want to bombard them with negativity, when they've got their own problems sometimes, but of course they're willing to listen because that's what good friends do and family. There's just people that will listen to your bullshit, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, you're moaning and groaning, you know. It's got to be someone like that. And I hope you've all got that. Um, yeah. yeah. Just don't overthink things. Don't over, like, worry about all the things going on. Yeah, the economy's messed up. But is that the real problem? No. There's people working to save lives, basically. That's the thing, but... Remember what I said earlier, like... Um, a lot of people that are going through cancer treatment and chemo are having it stopped because of the risk and because the staff are all needed uh, in, in, in the, the, the fight against corona, really. And it's just disappointing in some ways. But how can I come here, sit here, and just openly criticise the NHS for the good they're doing, but, you know... Um, it's difficult. Um, if it was my family, my family member, that had the chemo stop, I'd be so annoyed too. It's, it's not. It's not something I want to even think about. But you know, in this day and age, uh, there's a lot of illnesses other than corona out there that are affecting people, um, and that always have and always will. I mean, put it this way: life was never easy before. Uh, it's just more difficult now, and a different set of rules. But it was never easy before, was it? And this is a test. Maybe, I don't know, life is a test. Kind of. And we're the students always learning. Um, but yeah, I want to end it here, actually. I want to thank you guys for being with me through my negativity. If you like, you just have to get it out there. Get it done. And I want to end this podcast. I've got another video coming soon about the happiest song in the world. Um, try and guess what that is till the next video. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me on this kind of two-part podcast. Episode 36 is done. Thank you, guys. Keep it real, as always. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and keep it real. Peace. <laughs>